I get a call from the USO and they're like, hey Russell, do you want to entertain the troops? And I'm like, sure. Which ones? They go, the American troops. I go, why not the Canadian troops? They said, because that guy's busy. I said, all right, fine then. I go, what do I got to do? They go, uh, I go, where am I going to perform? They go, you're going to perform on the USS Eisenhower. I go, what's that? They said, it's an aircraft carrier. I go, cool, where's that parked? They go, it's not parked. It's in the middle of the ocean. I go, oh, okay. <laughs> How am I getting there? Go to the airport tomorrow morning and there'll be a plane there to meet you and it will take you to the ship. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I get me and my crew together and we head to the airport the next morning and we see this big brown military plane sitting in the middle of the airfield. And uh, you know when you see a situation and you know that that is your situation? <laughs> but you don't want that to be your situation, you know? <laughs> so I see the big, the big aircraft, the military aircraft, and I'm acting like I don't see it. I'm looking around like, where's our plane? I don't see anything that looks like an airplane to me. And it's like when somebody sets you up on a blind date and some fucked up looking chick walks in <laughs> and she's described what she's wearing, like, are you, f uh, no, kidding me, Wait, what? <laughs> right, so. I get used to the idea that this is the plane that I gotta get on, right? So I get on this military plane. Now, getting on a military plane is not like getting on a regular airplane. If you don't like flying, don't get on a fucking military plane. Because this shit is not for regular people. You know when you get on a regular airplane, you walk through a little tube attached to the side of the plane, and you walk on, and then the flight attendant greets you and says, oh, there you're sitting in 3B. Go ahead, sir. Please wait here on the right. <laughs> well, when you get on a military plane, you're entering from the ass of the plane, right? So... Like the back of the plane goes, blue, and then you get in. So you, it's like a reverse shit, you know, instead of getting, you know, you're walking through. And you know, on a regular plane, when you sit down, if the plane's flying this way, you face this way. Well, on a military plane, if the plane's flying this way, you face this way, which is always better, you know, for shitting yourself. So we get on, and on a regular airplane, they give you things to make you feel comfortable, you know? They'll be like, all right, sir, would you like a blanket? Here's some headphones, uh, some beverage, maybe some peanuts. And, you know, and you're like, all right, cool. Well, you get on the military plane to make you feel comfortable to give you a helmet, <laughs> um, uh, a life jacket, uh, these goggles, these soundproof headphones so you can't hear yourself screaming. And you know, on the, on the regular airplane, they tell you your seat can be used as a flotation device and that there's a life jacket under your seat. Well, on the military plane, they give you the life jacket right away. <laughs> they give it to me and I'm like, oh, should I just hang on to this? No, you should put it on. <laughs> Why? Why would I put it on? That's, that's ridiculous. Just put it on. <laughs> but what's... Why? 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 Just in case we land in the water. I go, when, who's ever landed in the fucking water? Who's ever landed in the water and went, ooh, that was close. That's never happened. So I put on this life jacket and uh, there's a little pouch hanging from the bottom. It kind of hangs right over your pouch. And it's got a zip on it. I go, what's in there? They go, some survival stuff. I go, I'm not gonna fucking survive if we land in the water. So I open the pouch, because I'm nosy. I want to see what they think we need to survive. And I open it, and there's like this pink powder, you know, that you're supposed to pour out into the water in case you land in there. And it like creates like a big pink circle around you, which I found somewhat offensive. Like if I crash in the water, they're gonna be looking for an Indian guy and a big pink dot in the middle of the ocean, I think. <laughs> there's some sort of racial undertone there. So, so there's this powder. And then there's like a, a light that lights up when the water hits it. And then there's a whistle, I guess in case a shark is coming. <laughs> and he's offside. Beep, stop, where are you going? Come on. Dude. There's a glow stick, I guess in case a rave breaks out when you're in the water, you know, just <laughs> Oh my God, dude, the water feels so good all over my legs. Feel my hands, feel my hands, rub them, rub my hands.